High Plains Technology says it's time for school. Good morning. It is time for school with High Plains Technology Center. Katie Shirley in studio this morning with Katrina McDowell. Good morning. Good morning, Branson. Thanks for having us. Thanks for coming. So today I have with me Katrina McDowell and Katrina is our marketing management instructor and Katrina has been at HPTC for around 16, 17 years in a various um, different capacities. Um, and so how long now have you been in the classroom with um, the marketing program? This is my sixth year. Sixth year. Okay. Um, and so in marketing, you guys recently just had a great event, um, December 4th. Do you want to tell us a little bit about what that event was? Sure. We had the OARC Christmas dinner um, it's been going on for 20 plus years. Last year was the first year we were not able to have it due to COVID. So it was exciting to get back to that this year. We um, served about 56 clients, six staff. And then with our workers and everybody who helps out, we served probably about 90 total people. And we just have the full Christmas dinner, ham, turkey, dressing, mashed potatoes, cranberry rolls, green beans, corn. Then we have Santa come and gives them all their Christmas gifts. They get to tell Santa what they want and take pictures with Santa. And then we have a dance for them. That is one of the funnest events all year. I loved um, when they were dancing and then visiting with Santa. That's just um, such a neat um, activity that you guys help um, put on for um, the OARC clients. So, um, Tell us a little bit about some of the part of your program that the students um, that might be newer to um, marketing that you have that students can get certified in. Sure. Well, we have three different career majors in marketing. We have entrepreneurship, which is we've had that for a couple of years now. Digital marketing started new last year. And then we have management. And so that's the different programs um, with most of those. Great. You can do graphic design, digital photography, um, if you want to own your own business, you'll be great in the entrepreneurship. And like I said, the digital marketing, that's a new thing that we started last year. So I have several students finishing that up this year. Yeah, that that um, industry has really grown. And so that's great that you guys have kind of pivoted to meet that need, um, which is always awesome at High Plains whenever there's a need in the industry that arises that we can um, pivot and then do whatever we need to do to be able to offer that either program or service for our students. Um, so the digital photography, what is what has their assignment been recently? Like what are they working on with that part? One of our big assignments is we did a senior picture project. So we usually pick a student in the classes that maybe they weren't going to get their senior pictures taken. And so we go out to location. This year we went to Graffiti Bridge, we went to Fort Supply Lake, and we went to the field station and the walking trails, and they all had different types of pictures that they needed to take. They had to practice like different angles, different lighting settings, um, action shots, because it's sometimes really hard to get an action shot that's not blurry, and then they had to come back and edit those into, some of them were black and white, sepia, um, maybe a black and white background and the person in color there was just a different types of projects that they had to do for their photography assignment and um, with the graphic design is that the area that would cover when you guys are doing your t-shirts and tell us a little bit about what all you offer with the t-shirts and the embroidery okay is there embroidery yet yes we started that new this year so we have deca designs is our it's student-based organization um we make t-shirts, we have anything cutting in vinyl, decals, stickers and vinyl. We also have a new sublimation printer this year that we can use to print on different mediums. And we received and um, bought a embroidery machine this year. So we're getting used to that. We're still not 100% with that, but I have some students that are really excited working on those. We're starting to implement new products like tumblers and all of that kind of stuff. That's awesome. And so now, how does that, how do, do you do that for, say, an outside person that may want some stuff printed? Or is, is it mainly, like, who are, are their clients? Or is it all just kind of practice material? Uh, we will do, for outside clients, we are pretty small, so we can't take big, huge orders or anything because we're 
I mean, our room is really tiny, but we <laughs> um, we crank out as much. Like we just did all the construction shirts. They had T-shirts, hoodies, and um, or two different kinds of hoodies. So we completed all of their orders. We do a lot for High Plains employees and students, but we will take outside orders if anybody okay. has any. So do the students um, design, say, for construction, which is Mr. Carlson's mm-hmm. class? Do um, Does he come to you with a design or do the students design? With him, he did come to us with a, with a design. Um, some people will come with this design or others we will design for them. Usually for all the holidays, we do all different holiday shirts and the students do all the designs for those. Then they have to go out and market them. They make the sale. They follow up. So they're practicing their customer service skills, their selling skills, and all of that. Awesome. Okay, let's talk about DECA a little bit. And so DECA is the student um, organization that falls under the marketing management program. And you've got um, some officers for that. So just tell us a little bit about that organization. Okay. So like she said, DECA is the marketing organization. We have monthly meetings we have um, three officers in the morning we have three officers in the afternoon so they handle all of the meetings they're the ones who plan any of our parties any of our community service projects and they were in charge of planning a lot for the oarc christmas dinner we also have contest and we're preparing for that it's in february so we've started gearing up for that then we also have our um first collegiate state officer this year and it's the first collegiate state officer team in many many years so that is Kirsten Cook and um, so she's been going to a lot of different meetings she has to plan all of the training leadership training contests and all of that with the organization yes and if you might remember listeners that Kirsten was on I believe a month or so ago and she was um, also visited with our board and just shared her experience and we love um, that she is loving it so much and gaining a lot of experience through um, the collegiate DECA and then in a few weeks we're also going to have Taylor Freck who was a former HPTC student and she's going to share about her journey and she was one of um, High Plains very first state officer and that was for the DECA program um, years ago so and also Branson Brewer um, was a just recently a career tech champion, mm-hmm. and he was. Um, you were also were you a DECA president? I was, yeah. Okay, and so you're utilizing some of those skills you learned in marketing, definitely, yeah. And just so you um, tell us who your instructor was when you were in Forrest Rogers. Forrest Rogers, yeah, he was so my instructor. Many people will recognize his name mm-hmm. and his face that has been with High Plains um, thirty some years i believe longer than i've been alive yeah Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) he might not want us to know that (laughs) and he is still helping us out at the tap program so um everyone loves forrest and mr rogers so with deca um do they attend they attend um leadership conferences that is that just the host officers or do all the students get to attend those so for leadership just the deca officers usually go um they that is in october's when we had that and then for contests, we it's open to whoever wants to compete. Okay. And what are some of the categories that they compete in? There's advertising campaign. There's professional selling. Um, every event that we have in DECA, you pretty well have to give up, get up and give some sort of presentation um, because that's what marketing is, is presenting. But you can, some of them you have to take a test, some of them you have to write a paper, but all of them you get up and present. Awesome. Can you think of any of your former students that are um, currently running their own business or is there one that sticks out that is um, like Branson, a career tech champion that's using their skills that they learned in marketing? Most of mine are still pretty well in college since this is just my sixth year. A lot of them are still um, in college. I've had a lot of them go on to the WIN program and have completed that and are going on to jobs. I have two that will be graduating Friday out of the WIND program. That's so awesome. It's a big stepping stone to go to college or to further their education. Yeah. Well, that's great. Um, anything else you want to share with our listeners today? Um, we've just been helping out a lot in the TAP program. We've done that the last two weeks. So we try to integrate with all different programs at the tech center. So are they currently studying uh, marketing? Yes. Okay. Yes. The last two weeks they've been working on marketing and 
I think they did career portfolios and things like that. Awesome. And so each of the, as, as TAP goes through all the different um, industries, usually the High Plains program, the class and instructor will go visit every now and then and kind of help um, teach the students. So I, that's a pretty neat part to have student-led teaching of what they're learning. I think that makes a Im- big impact for them to um, learn even more themselves. Right, especially since some of the students that we have now are products of TAP. They started out with right. TAP, and so now they are they know what they're doing when they go and help out. Yeah, that's great. All right, well, thank you so much, Katrina, and we hope everyone has a great day.